All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with the CVV X Arch here with me for a review. We're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this little fella. But hey, do not forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and you know what? You can also check out fablades.com and see what's up, and also at fablades on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment, uh, send me a feedback, uh, engage, express your feelings, uh, and uh, enjoy most importantly. So here we have the classic CVV white box with a bunch of informations uh, around here. This is, by the way, the blue G10 uh, gray stainless steel liner and satin finish D2 uh, CVV X Arch, which comes uh, with this uh, classic CVV nylon zippered pouch. Uh, you do get some uh, uh, paperwork, you get a couple of stickers right over here, and you get a microfiber cloth, which is always nice to have. And of course, you do get your knife right there. That's, uh, that's a nice... Uh, uh, packaging they give you with the uh, with this knife actually not everybody is willing to do that so and here you have uh, uh, your X arch which is a small knife because look at this cutting edge is below three inches probably 2.9 uh, with a 3.1 3.2 long a blade four inches for the handle and the seven point uh, what is this seven point uh, twenty five inches for the overall length uh, uh, on this one let's quickly check this guy out uh, up against for example benchmade mini bug out and benchmade bug out we are pretty much uh, a little bit actually smaller uh, than the uh, full size bug out uh, the spider go para three is going to be tiny well, probably not exactly the same size actually look at that but of course the paramilitary 2 is going to be bigger than that for sure like it is going to be bigger the large sebenza 21 from chris rib knives and of course small sebenza 21 is going to be a little bit smaller not by much but still tiny bit smaller let's go up in price and i want to show you this uh, holt blade works specter and the holt blade works haptic which i really appreciate uh, so we are pretty much in the realm of the haptic but slimmer uh, lighter way cheaper especially uh, um, than that and just like last couple here just to to, you know it's just to show off like uh, uh these are like another ballpark uh she of custom division neon and ellen uh, custom division f95 antique to just give you like some perspective you could buy probably i don't know a lot of the cvv uh with the budget needed for this she of but who cares we are here to talk about this fella right over here it is a front flipper it is a liner look it is made in china by cvv it's a budget knife it's gonna be 50 60 dollar like not expensive whatsoever and you're gonna get a pretty good deal actually uh for that uh, uh chunk of money of course it's it's made in china uh by uh, CVV, which is the uh, let's say the cheaper brand of uh, uh, Wii knives, and uh, overall look, it's uh, sleek. It's just like a rectangular. Um piece uh, basically with some slanted angles like here at the uh, lanyard uh, clip and just the protruding uh, front flipper tab so very very cool slick minimal uh, design uh, going on i like it you do get uh, a set of uh, g10 scales with some texturing you see that's gonna add uh, some nice uh, grippiness uh, uh, to the scales uh, not really you don't see any finger groove uh, going on just these are just straight uh, handles uh, of course you have uh, two uh, chamfers going on like you see like kind of like a roof uh, but it's like basically 2d milled out there's no 3d milling going on whatsoever i was saying this is a liner lock in fact you see these stainless steel liners which are interestingly skeletonized fully skeletonized on the inside uh, not the um, lock side but only the show side to save a little bit of weight you do also have a G10 backspacer, which of course is matching the color of the scales. And um, uh, as you can see right over here, the tip is safely protected by the backspacer and absolutely centered. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. If you're OCD, especially like me, yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. Also, you have a very simple construction, two screws. You get the pivot screw right over here, T8, uh, T6 for the, actually no, that's a T8 as well. T6 for the clip. 
but the 8 for the handle here super simple and straightforward uh, uh, disassembly video you can also check it out if you uh, want to know how to take care of this knife the pivot here you see it's keyed in so it's not spinning and uh, it is uh, it is always a good thing to have so you just unscrew this guy from the back and you are done there is no need for any stainless steel lock face insert right over here because you get uh, steel liners up against uh, the steel tang of the blade so no lock stick going on whatsoever of course you don't also don't need any integrated lock bar stabilizer because this is a liner lock so the scale is going to act as a over travel uh, lock bar stabilizer so that's gonna be pretty uh, good to go um, there is uh, I think that's like a yeah like they actually looks like a ceramic detent ball ramp uh, detent ball sorry uh, there's no detent ball ramp by the way but that ball looks ceramic from here I might be wrong I don't know guys let me know in the comments I forgot if this is ceramic or steel but still it's there you have a detent don't worry about that um, also you get uh, a, um, a tip up carry only but reversible deep carry pocket clip uh, with couple of windows one is just for aesthetics and the other one is going to be to for you to be able to access uh, um, to these screws to take the uh, clip out and if you want to install on this side right over here nice spring tension is well designed you see it works well goes in and out nicely so it, it's it's a good pocket clip not i mean aesthetically yeah kind of but functionally 100 percent and it's going to be burying down all your knife like into the pocket look at that that's pretty deep so that's good um you do also get a nice blade shape uh with um uh some uh, pretty cool chamfering going on over here i wouldn't call this wedge it's just like chamfer uh, which just stops right here and retains you see maybe like here retains a little bit of the thickness of the blade you have um, some satin finish going on on the hollow grind uh, like 30 percent belly straight edge you have a sharpening coil which kind of i mean if you have small fingers could also be like a finger choil but nah not not so much and then you see also like this area here nicely chamfered over here too yeah i got a little bit of jimping which is absolutely not useful because you, you don't feel it so that's one thing also uh you do get like as you can see right over here a little bit of uh, yeah i mean that we're gonna check in a check that in a second but um what i like here is the uh sterile looking blade you just have like a microscopic d2 engraving going on over there which is you can't really see it but what i really appreciate about this blade is the hollow grind going on and the satin finish and uh, thin stock because this guy is going to be 0.116 look at that and behind the edge this thing is pretty thin uh 0.015 around that so not too shabby uh from the sound department this guy is all right very nice closing sound opening sound nah not so i mean it's it's pretty mellow but this is a nice clink this is pretty anonymous i would say nothing that i would write home about this is pretty cool so sound department is very subdued very mellow very soft not obtrusive it's kind of like in the in in line with the gentleman's knife that this guy is about so slick lines not loud pretty inconspicuous you pull this out and you just do like that you cut your apple whatever nobody's gonna get intimidated by the sound of it also what you're not gonna be intimidated about is gonna be the weight because this fella is pretty light there is some skeletonization for the liners which is gonna contribute to get this guy down to 2.64 ounces in your pocket yeah you're not gonna pretty much feel it also um like uh, from the feeling department this guy in the hand I mean feels feels quite good uh, I mean the, the pocket clip it's creating a little not not hot spots but uh, it's not like super comfy here because it's kind of tall pretty much like 50 percent of the handle is the height of the um pocket clip so just keep that in mind but not really like and not, not like a sharp edge or anything uh the um the other area here like you see there's not much room to disengage the lock bar they added some jimping which is cool but you kind of have to just jam your uh, thumb in in that uh, like uh, in that area here in that space to get the uh the liner um the, the lock sorry uh disengaged so i mean not super comfy but it's there uh you do get 
some flex, of course, because the liners are thin and you get G10 scale, so nothing, not, not really like super sturdy. I mean, this is not like a hardcore, heavy duty use knife. It's just like something, I mean, come on, look at this, guys. You're not gonna be batoning with this. Uh, um, you're gonna do some office, it's kind of like an office carry. You cut your apple, you do uh, some light tasks, and in the hand, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, like reverse grip, kind of. I mean, it's, it's a very, very slim handle, but it's not slippery. So this texture here, it is very good. It's very grippy and um, yeah, it feels good. It feels like it's not going to go anywhere. It's it's good. Also, like fit and finish is nice, guys. Like blade center, no blade play. This is kind of flush. I mean, it's well put together. Uh, we have to give it to them. Uh, no, yeah, like n n finger soreness uh, for the front front flipping action. It's all good. You can even do like, um, like a... You can deploy it like that. Uh, uh, it, it has a nice fidget factor. Uh, this guy is also running on bearings. Uh, in fact, you can see that, look at this. It's a very pleasant action. You just front flip it with your thumb and just, you see, no, no guillotine effect. You just have like a wiggle, a gentle wiggle to uh, get the blade close. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's pretty snappy when you um, deploy it because of course the bearings are doing their job. Also the detent is nicely done. I mean, for a budget knife, uh, I, I'm i pretty satisfied. Uh, let me see, there's a, yeah, there you go. A little bit of like detent suction, also like kind of like a magnetic effect going on over here. So not too shabby overall. It, it's a nice one for the, for the money guys. Like, you can't really go wrong. I mean, I think it fits the, the budget. Uh, you have some, uh, you know, basic materials like steel liners, G10 scales, D2 blade, but still it's well put together. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.